Hello, today's Bible study comes from Colossians chapter 3, and we'll be going over verses 5 through, uh, let's do up to 7, uh, verses 5 through 7. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual morality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. And Paul is saying the things that you used to do and the things that we did, put those to death. The things that are here on earth. And he, he, he's telling you about the things that didn't identify us or didn't show us or show the world that we are of Christ. See, when we were, before we knew Christ, these were alive in us. But now that we know Christ and we are risen with Christ, these have been put to death. And the fact that these things can be put to death is because of Christ. And truly, they are things that would not help identify us as a Christian. Even Christ says, you will know my disciples by their love. These actions, these things that he speaks of, the uncleanliness, the fornication, the greed, the evil desires, the covetousness, the idolatry, those are not things that would be of Christ. That is not a life. That is not a character of Christ. And as we spoke on it earlier, we are to concentrate on the life like Christ. So we put them to death, meaning we deny ourselves of those things. We do not give in to this fleshly body that dictates so much of our senses that we crave the earth without even realizing that it is just natural. We fight to be in the spirit with the Lord. So he's telling you, put these things to death because you have changed. You have become different. Your life is now new. And he speaks of the things. And if you look at the things that he speaks of, they deal with the flesh, the fornication, the sexual immorality. And I, I have to say it, he speaks to any sex outside of marriage. We have all fallen short. We have all done this. We have all done some sin that comes short of the glory of God. But don't think that it excuses us. And know that if you do it, when you do it, how you do whatever it may be repent but he tells you to put those things to death and that's a fight that's a struggle because the flesh wants it but the spirit should be guiding us to say don't do it see he says the uncleanliness and this is even wider it's even bigger of what we're doing, not just the fornication, but all the things that we do sexually, all the different ways, all the different groups, all of these things that are unclean and immoral. So he speaks at ease, but look at this one for idolatry. See, we are a heavy, inflated world of what I got. What I possess. What type of house I live in, where I live at, what kind of car I drive, why don't I have this kind of car. I'll go broke trying to get something that I don't even need. But we are possessed with that and, and the fact that this is a, a form of idolatry means that 
we are concentrating on the wrong thing. We should be concentrating on things above, as it said yesterday in the message. That means we should be concentrating on a better spiritual life with the Lord at all times. And I know we all want things. My own weaknesses, comic books, CDs, sneakers, motorcycle. But my life with God has got to be more important to me than to sit around meditating, trying to get, trying to have, trying to possess, trying to gain so people can see what I got. Get God and let the people see that you got love and compassion and kindness and joy and peace that none of them can steal and none of them can take from you because it's not generated from them. It's generated through us. And it's hard. It's hard. Please don't get me wrong, but the Lord talks to that because of these things. He speaks of they're part of the world. They are the world. And they give us their own definition of who we are. When we are of Christ, we're supposed to be love. But these things say you are of the world because they are of the world. They are the desires of the flesh. They are the things that even the Lord speaks of in the Ten Commandments and the other commandments. We have a love for the world and to go against one another and to do things our way. And Paul is saying these things should be dead now. You should be practicing to fight this fight. Because your life is concentrated on your relationship with the Lord. 